everyone and welcome back to another screencast on number and this is on adding and subtracting decimals. I think you're going to find this one nice and easy. The most important thing to remember when we're adding and subtracting decimals is our place values. Okay, so let's go over this again. These are all our place values and what we have to have an understanding of is that if our decimal points are not lined up then we're going to go really badly wrong. So make sure your decimal points in today's work and forever moving forward line up because the numbers are 10 times bigger as we go up and 10 times smaller as we go down. So if we don't get them in the right spot, we're going to make some really, really bad errors. Let's have a little go at our first couple of questions. So I'm going to do the first one for you. I'm going to set it up now and I've got my 4.5 uh, over my, sorry, on top of my 2.3 and you're going to notice there that my decimal points are lined up. Very simply now I'm just going to add my 5 and my 3 together and that's going to give me an 8. I'm then going to make sure I've got my decimal and 4 plus 2 gives me the 6 and that would be my answer for that one. So now it's your turn, give this one over here a go, set it up just like over here, work it out and see if you've got it right. So here we go, we're back and we're going to set it up. We've got 8.4 uh, plusing our 1.7. So you can see there that the decimal places are beautifully lined up. So let's work that through now. So we've got our 4 plus our 7 and that's going to give us 11. So we carry over the top. That's what I do. I know some of these will carry over the bottom, which is absolutely fine as well. Uh, make sure you've got your decimal in the right spot and then we've got our 1 plus our 8 which gives us our 9 plus another one which gives us our 10. So it's 10.1 is our answer. Let's look at some slightly more difficult ones but I'd like you to set this up without me. In fact I might do the first one for you so I'll set it up for you there and then it's about you working through but you can see here clearly the decimal places are all lined up. That'll be the same in my answer. Just give it a real good go. Come back and see if you've got it right. All right, so we've got our 2 plus our 8. I'm going to carry over again. So I've got my 1 and my 0 there. That makes 10. My decimal points will be lined up there. 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 2. That gives us our 9. Then we've got 0 plus 7, which gives us our 7. And 2 plus nothing gives us our 2. All right, so now I've done that one for you. Uh, definitely you're going to do the next one on your own. Now I will give you a little bit of a helping hand. To make this a little bit easier, I put the 107 on the top, 107.808 on the top, and the 0.56 below. But you give this a go, make sure, making sure that your decimal places are lined up. Happy days, you can't go wrong. So here we go, let's go for it now. We've got 107.08, and I make sure that my decimal point is lined up, and I've got my 0.56. Very simply now, I'm going to add... 8 and 6 together to give us our 14, 1 and 5 together to give us a 6, make sure the decimal place lines up and then these numbers stay the same because there's nothing to add below is there, so I've got my 107.64. We're now going to look at some negatives, I'm going to do the first one for you, set it up, so I've got 7.0 and that's going to be taken, take, we're going to take 1.3 away from that. Now you'll notice my decimal places line up and I've added a zero. This is just to make it nice and easy for us to do. So pause the video now, give it a go, come back and see if you've got it correct. So here we go, we should know that I can't take away from zero. So three take away zero is a problem, or zero take away three is a problem. So I've got to steal from the seven and turn that into a six, and then we've got our ten. Take 3 away from 10 gives us our 7. Decimal places lined up, 6 take away 1, that gives us our 5. So I've done the setup for you here, you do the setup over here and do the working and see if you've got it right. First things first, we put 9.0 minus 3.6. Again, we can't take away from the 0, so we need to steal 1 from here and bring that across. So they'll make that into an 8. Turn that into a 10. Now we've got 10 take away 6 gives us our 4. Decimal points line up. 8 take away 3 gives us our 5. And that's it. We've now done all the questions and now it's time for Z quiz. Everyone loves 
the quiz, including me. I love a quiz. It's fun. It's like a, you know, a quiz. When is a quiz not fun? Maybe I'm proving this point now. But anyway, give these all a go. This is a subtraction question. Addition, addition, happy days. Away you go. Enjoy. So let's just see how you've done. Here goes your answers. You can see my setting up is in red. My working out is in blue. And those are my answers there. Hopefully you have done fantastic stuff. That would be fantastic. <laughs> if you have... As always, if you've done well, then write a revision card or contact me for an electronic version. And it's always a pleasure. If you haven't done well, then just go back, try and watch the video a few more times. I'm sure you'll get it. Uh, the more you persist, the clearer it becomes. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you back again. Thank <laughs> you.